there's an interesting interplay between what is plausible and what is going to give a sense of magic to the scene. It's a very different process than mixing for a traditional film. And you need spaces like this one with loudspeakers in the ceiling, in the floor, all around you. So it's a 360 degree sound field. Let's say you're in a VR experience and you're seeing a very large object fly over you. If there's no sound, you're not really gonna have a sense that it's a massive object. So I would go out and get some rocks and actually knock them together and pitch those sounds down to give a sense of a much larger object. And then I could start to think about our trajectory, taking the sound of this giant rock and giving it a Doppler as it moves by you. A lot of Eliza's projects are working on that tension between sort of science and art, and that's what we're trying to do with the sound.